got some scriptures coming. The brothers say God God made man in his image because when he tried to make the women, they were supposed to be our helper. But they start believing in themselves and getting BBL. Right. Every woman with a BBL is an abomination to his name. You are putting yourself before your family if you got a BBL. God. You had your whole ass cracked open out of vanity. Ain't no telling what they put in there. They put meat from food for less than your head. That's why you stink here since you be here. Welcome back to Channel Time Pod. It's your host, Red. I got a video today from Tip Network. Corey Holmes drops bombs on struggling BBL ladies. And there's a lot of struggling BBL ladies. Please like subscribe below. I really appreciate that. See that ciao. It's ciao time. I got on the table and I, I felt so dizzy like I was about to pass out. If you can't do it, just don't do it because I don't really know what's right now. You know what I'm saying? I can't shoot birth control or nothing. I could die. You regret it? Yeah. Indianapolis woman is dead after traveling to the Dominican Republic for plastic surgery. And she went to go get her body done in a DR and she never, never made it back. She would lay in bed. I would go in there and try to get her out the bed, try to get her to come downstairs and eat with me. And she just wasn't responding well. And they want to say we put the beauty standards. We're the one that forced these things upon these women. No, ladies, you force this upon yourselves. She was like, I know my daughter isn't alive. Why won't they tell me? By the time she got to Indiana, Carlisha said that she was notified that Shikari had passed away. Greetings, you polite savage, and welcome to another Tip Talk. Well, we're going to tell the truth and shame the devil today. And we're going to dispel a myth, a very popular myth, that men, they're in it for the BBL. Now, a dude, he's not going to kick you out of bed because he got some augmentations, <laughs> because he got some uh, butt implants, but it's not like that's what we're looking for. The biggest surprise is when women tell dudes, man, you guys, y'all dogs, y'all sleep with anybody. And then never look in the mirror and say, damn, what if I'm just anybody? But when it comes down to it, when a rubber me <laughs> Dude, shout outs to Grover and Scott for that one. That was that was a harsh truth right there. It's the road, ladies. You got that BBL. You took that dirty trip down there to South America. You went into that dirty uh, examination room. and That's the other thing, right? It's illegal in the U.S. to do this, correct? It is, you have to go to another country to do this. If it's illegal to be done here in the U.S., you would think there'd be some dangers to it and some issues why you wouldn't want to do it. But yet women are flying left and right to these countries, to third world countries, to probably unlicensed doctors sometimes doing God knows what. I remember a story of a woman going there to get her BBL done and she lost the kidney. They took out her kidney while they were doing her BBL. In the Dominican Republic, uh, getting yourself an infection on the way. You got on that airplane where you couldn't sit your butt down but you had to fly a booty up. Please don't travel right after you get a BBL. Listen to your doctors. Almost there, almost there, almost there. I got a BBL. I feel bad for these flight attendants that be going to DR and Columbia and stuff that where women are going. Like they have to deal with all these asinine women. This pain is ridiculous. This pain is like a beyond a 10. I'm kind of like heartbroken about it because like the doctor didn't do this. I know I'm interrupting a lot, guys. I'm sorry. But you know, this person does not know what the hell a 10 is. If she's saying it's a 10, I'm not disagreeing with her, but a 10 means you're riling in pain and you cannot do anything. That's what a true 10 of pain is. Do it right. It's all like Ooh. bumpy right there. I don't think he like did that right. Oh my Jesus. Oh. And you flew all the way back to the United States under pain and went through all of that painful recovery for months just to be in competition with other women. That's right, lady. The jig is up. We know that you're in that race with other women. You're in that competition with other women. And it has nothing to do but your vanity. Nothing to do but with your ability or lack thereof to concentrate in the gym and do your thing. 
but you still want the prize anyway. Now, this isn't to shame women who's gone through some type of issue that maybe they just can't build themselves up. It just looks so bad. Like, there's very few BBLs that I've seen. I live in freaking LA, and I go to and I go to Disneyland quite often, so I see a lot of these things. A lot. I have never seen one that I was just like, damn, she's good looking. I have not. Unless, and if it was, I probably didn't know it was a BBL. They did a very minor thing. Most women out there I see are just outrageous with the size that they want their, their buttocks to be. Up anymore that plastic surgery is necessary. No, 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 no. Because I know there's going to be some ladies out there who listen to this and they're going to be had to say the same brain dead thing that most of you ladies say when you can't really make a point. Not all, just some. Well, no, I'm not saying all, but what I'm saying is that in general, you ladies are getting that BBL. Not because men want... I can't even look at this woman. She looks... Oh, my God. This is like a, a skinny Barbie that put two butt cheeks on the side and just like... <laughs> but you do. Oh, but my because God. Because you want it. And you believe that it's going to boost up your confidence somehow. Why did you choose to go do a, a, a Brazilian butt lift popularly known as a BBL? What was the significance for you? already. Yeah, I was just fixing my insecurities. I had okay. some fear of insecurities and I needed to fix those. If you have the money, you can go fix whatever you're insecure about. These BBLs killing y'all. And the thighs don't match. Well, well, well. These BBLs killing y'all. These BBLs killing y'all. And the thighs don't match. Well, well, well. These BBLs killing y'all. A lot of things that people won't tell you, they'll like, oh my god. BBL chat. You have no idea what the pain is like. It is like you got run over by 20 dump trucks. Also, you're on a lot of meds after you do it. Also, this is a surgery. I've seen so many people not be happy with the first time around. They keep doing it. Oh, my fluid shit. I didn't even think about having to do it multiple times. My God. Ladies, stop it. I'm from DC. This is my third round BBL. And I absolutely love my results. So my hips, I never got this roundness in my hips from my last two rounds. Doctor, my butt is perfect. Um, my shape is perfect. He did the J plasma on my stomach. I couldn't ask for better results. But the most confusing thing to a lot of us is that there was a long list of beautiful women who were natural in the past. There, there was, was a long list of women if they had enhancements, they were just so In the 90s, black women were beautiful. I love their shape. I love their sizes. Nothing too outrageous. You know, busty women, you know, some some curves on them, but nothing to where I'm now. It's just like, is this even a real person? This person looks like a character of a person making fun of another person that has a BBL. That's how bad it looks. Slight. I mean, I want you to look at little Kim before the BBL, before the plastic surgeries, and look at her now. Little Kim never needed any of that stuff. Little Kim was a very good looking sister. Very good looking. And a matter of fact, a lot of dudes, she was uh, number one on her list of like down to earth, around the way ladies. Maya was another one. Maya is still beautiful to this day natural looking great and once again didn't need all the enhancements i'm gonna keep it a buck with you those enhancements were really for those struggle ladies who got older and couldn't let it go i mean madonna comes to mind Cher mm. comes to mind these ladies who were uh hot in their heyday but couldn't let it go but kim kardashian just turned 42. Jeez. kaylis and foxy brown they're 43. Megan Good and Lala Anthony, we've been documenting their foibles of the last couple of years. 41. Amber Rose and Nicki Minaj are both about to be 40. If you do not become somebody who signals to competence, and competence cannot be faked, if you are a person who is signaling fakeness, and then you are in turn attempting to think that that fakeness is going to signal competence, think the other way. 
If you are on the thicker side and you decide to gain a little bit of weight, say goodbye to your BBL. Kiss it goodbye because your is going to blow the f If you have a BBL and you get pregnant, whoever has a BBL that has gotten pregnant, game over. Now, the, the Whoa, table turned. Now we got 22, 23, 24 year olds with that BBL surgery, with that augmentations. And it's just a tragedy. It's just a tragedy. This woman's gorgeous. She's good looking. Body shape, everything. And then you see her ass and then you're just like, nah. And only these new social media, these reality TV show types, these are the ones going for it. These are the ones that's really changed the game into the worst way possible. But I'm going to say this. Ladies, it's your bodies. Do it at what you want to do. Your body, your choice. But just don't get shocked when your choice leaves you unchosen. The BBL does not make you in another league. It actually brings you down now. Some men love it though. No, we love to play with it. I call them rentals. You're like a <laughs> rental car. You go out to Miami, you rent that Lamb, you, you rent that Ferrari. You can't drive at home. Mm. It's fun to drive out there, but now I'm not paying for this. <laughs> this shit going to the rental office when I'm done with it. That's what we do with BBL. We're not taking that to the parent teacher conference. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> Is this table? Not, yeah. Like, come on, like, let's stop playing for real. Y'all confuse a man's sexual attention with what he wants as a wife and as an example for his, his kids, mm. as a mother. Because automatically, we know your mind is f the point where you risked your life for a big for attention. And you know, you got to keep it a buck. There's some ladies who go through the operation and they look excellent. They look great and they feel confident. But is it worth it, ladies? Ladies, is it worth it? Because for every one person who's happy, and had a great recovery and it wasn't in extreme pain there's 10 stories of excess bleeding mental yeah like when i see the healing process i think man like my my skin is crawling hearing these things it's just like oh my god the amount of surgeries pain oh man i've been through quite a few surgeries in my time i hate the hospital i hate the doctor i never want to go i never want to stay there these women are doing it on their own volition. Fair. Yeah, I mean, we have a story. One of the surgeries we went to for the second one in Turkey. Mm. Oh my god. Me and days. Mandy, like, we literally thought we were dying. Yeah, really? Like, we literally, I thought like we almost died. We were in, we were bleeding excessively in the hotel room no, in Turkey. I, but when I woke up, Anna, I was on a hospital bed covered. What? Mandy was like this on the hospital bed. Like the that. whole bed was oh blood my God. and I was vomiting at the same time. No. At the same time I had a cataract. So it's like, you know, it's attached to your bladder or whatever. You basically can't, I couldn't pass urine. I was like pissing in a bucket, vomiting and bleeding for like three days. That's when we went crazy. to the hotel, we were going to pass out both of us. We both, were both yeah. like trying to help each other. Thank time. God you were both there. We both, yeah, it was really, really scary. Oh my and God. My mom had not There's 10 stories of not being able to fly home on an airplane for a month. There's 10 stories of cellulitis or sepsis or just other infections that almost ends people's lives yet bbl surgery is the number one plastic surgery being performed not for any other reason except vanity not for any other reason except a lack of understanding that hard work you could probably get those results that you want it is what it is what's the first thing that comes to your mind when i say bbl i know a girl who got her BBL done, and when she first got it, it was closer to her back. Now it's closer to the bottom of her leg. Mm. So, damn. Wow. Born to lose. Thank you for listening to the Tip Network. Follow us on, on all social medias. Whew, that was disturbing, chow. Shout outs to Tip Network. I always love the brothers and their content. BBLs. Ladies, we don't love it. I don't think there's any man that's ever really wanted to marry someone that has a BBL. And if someone's married and their wife got a BBL, it's because eh, they want them their wives to be happy. But no man is out there asking you guys to do BBLs and kill yourselves for it. We love you as you are, ladies. Please subscribe down below. I really appreciate that. And I'll catch you guys next time. Ciao.